Hi everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a very shitty YouTube channel, but it is a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I am Phoenix, and um, I decided that like I, I gotta make the bed. All right, you can somewhat see it in the background. I have all my pillows. I have the comforter and whatnot, but I haven't put my plushies up, <laughs> and I thought it would be fun. <laughs> to go through them and show you guys all the plushies that I have today. There's gonna be a lot more added in the future, but here's what I have so far. <laughs> now, just so you know, some of these plushies have been with me since, I want to say 2022? I want to say that. Some of these are more recent, so uh, at the span of like two years, disease, these are all the plushies I have accumulated over the years. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. I will try to get them into sections of like different subgenres, which we're first gonna do the Squishmallows, because <laughs> I have a lot of those. Now, I will tell you guys right now, <laughs> the Squishmallows technically do have a canon name and whatnot. Like when you get a Squishmallow, they have a little tag and it tells you like their name is like Beatrice and they like coconut milk. In, in walking through the park on a Sunday afternoon, but me and Cameron decided not to do that. So some of these names are gonna sound really cute, and some of these names are gonna sound really garbage. So let me see who I can find. Oh, let's start off with the normal one. It's right here on my feet. Uh, this is the only Squishmallow that kept its original name. <laughs> His name is Archie. I don't remember anything else about him, but this is Cameron's favorite. He's a little axolotl. He's very cute. <laughs> I, he, he was early on and whatnot. He's, I think he was the fourth Squishmallow that I got for me and Cameron. We all talk about like every single like plushie that I have is like our child. So we have a lot of children. I think we have 40. <laughs> it's a problem. But this is Cameron's favorite. He loves Archie. He's so cute. Which I'm going to put him on. right here for now. All right, another squish. Okay, this one's also cute. I found this one at Box Lunch in my area. His name, we named him Ginger. And why not? He's, a, he's another axolotl. Gingy named this one. And why not? He's got a little little whipped cream, a little straw. He's, I think it's funny that like Cameron's favorites are frogs and axolotls, which you will see plenty of in a second but he can't have coffee. <laughs> so I thought this would be funny, but it, he's very cute, very vibrant and whatnot. Just a little guy. He, he's gonna go right next to Archie. All right, I guess on the Axolotl train, this one's name, we named it Aqua. I found her at Target. <laughs> Um, I think it was during Easter, I just looked through there because I was trying to find like some good ass discount candy because I love me some good discount candy. But I found this and she was adorable and Cameron loved her. So this is Aqua. <laughs> Alright, when do we get to shit names? Alright, here we go. This was the first Squishmallow I ever got for me and Cameron. It's a green frog with a little rainbow belly. I think I got it from Five Below, if that sounds about right. His name is Chonko and whatnot. He's very cute. You can tell the size progression. This, this is now what normal Squishmallows look like compared to like this. You know, they, they definitely got a boost in quality. <laughs> yep, yeah, this this is our, our first child, so very forget we forget about this one a lot. <laughs> but he's still a favorite. I'm gonna put him right here. Okay. Where's ooh? Wait, can I find the other one? Because I bought these two at the exact same time. Where is she? Uh, I found it. Alright, so I bought... Oh, I have the tags still on these. These aren't your names. <laughs> I bought these two frogs at the same time. Um, they are both come from Box Lunch. We, I named this one Peaches because it's a peach frog. And, and then I named this one Belle Delphine. <laughs> Because of like this, like the pink and like the little cherry blossoms, I thought it was fitting. And uh, yep, he's just a little guy. 
So yeah, so Belle Delphine and Peaches both purchased at the same time at a box lunch. Jolene was actually with me when I purchased both. I was like, oh, which one do I get? And they're like, mm, I don't know, they're both cute. I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get both. So that's that's what happened. Alright, I'm gonna have to start getting up for these. Let's put you right here. Let's put the Peaches right here. Okay. I'll make sure to turn the camera so you can see everyone. Alright, next Squishmallow. Okay. Okay, this is a I think this is a, f a toad because it has all the little spots. It's purple. And his name is Lean because he's purple and, and you know, purple lean and whatnot. Cameron helped me name this one. <laughs> but he's very cute and everything. Very much, a little, probably a little taller than Chonko, but very cute. Also, fun fact if you ever like, just take the eyes and go like this. It looks like <laughs> like this is the face. <laughs> All right, going with another toad. This one's name is Fuckass. <laughs> He's a yellow f little toad. I think both of these I got at Five Below, so these were pretty cheap and whatnot. I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. Cameron loves frogs. I have to get it for Cameron. <laughs> Okay, this one's a normal one. This one was at Five Below also. It has a little scarf. It is very green. And its name is Slippy. Slippy the Frog. Because we couldn't come up with any dumber names. <laughs> Alright, this was the second one I got. Because I like the little fruit ones. I got this at Cracker Barrel, actually. And apparently, when you smell the top of it, it smells like fruit. <laughs> like it smells like strawberries. So I don't remember her original name, but we named her Shortcake because she's a strawberry, so like strawberry shortcake and everything. So she's she's so adorable. She doesn't have the the smell anymore. She, I got her a long like a while ago, so I'm I'm surprised it lasted how long it did. Um let me put you behind peaches. There you go. Alright. Uh -huh, Alright. We got another little frog. I got him. Stay with me. Five below. <laughs> He's a little mint frog. And we named him Chip because he has a mint color and the little things look like chocolate chips. So it was like mint chocolate chip cookies. Or like mint chocolate chip ice cream. So, a little chip. I'm gonna put you behind Slippy. There we go. Is there any other big squishmallows I'm missing? I think that's everyone. Now we can get into the little baby ones that I have. If I can find them. There they are. Now only one of these have a name. So if you have any names for the other ones, uh, let me know. These are all scented, which this one, his name is Milk. And it's a strawberry milk. Yeah, it still has a smell. Yeah, we got these from like these, like the blind mystery, so we didn't know what we were going to get. And then this one doesn't have a name, but it's a, it's a little like ice cream sandwich. I think it's supposed to smell like vanilla, but I can't smell anything through it anymore. And then this one is a ice cream cone. I think it's supposed to smell like raspberries, I think, but I mean, they're very cute. We just don't have any names for them. All right, since you guys are tiny, I'm gonna put you guys right here for now until we get to the other little teddy babies. All right, I guess now I should probably get into the uh, digital circus of this. <laughs> Uh, we have- I have a- I have a decent amount of Digital Circus, uh, merch, which I'll get into the first one. This is the first one I bought. It is Pomni. She is so cute. She's got her little outfit from the show of, like, all the reds and the blues and everything. The hat. I love her eyes. I love how the, the spiral they are. She's got- she's sporting the little sad face and everything. She's adorable. She's huge. She was bigger than I thought she was gonna be. And why not? She she sits so beautifully. A, a little bit. Oh, she, she did not sit beautifully. <laughs> all right, Pawnee. I'm gonna put you right here for now because I'm gonna have to get up on that bed and put you guys all on the line. <laughs> uh, where's another one? Here he is. This when they released episode f episode two, uh, I got myself this little kinger, and he's adorable. 
Uh, Kinger is my my favorite of the Digital Circus characters, and I didn't know he was voiced by Sheen Chiplock. I think that's how you say it. He's the voice of Ishimaru in in Danganronpa, and that came. Out, I was like, how the fuck do they get this high profile fucking voice actor? What the fuck? But he does a very good job. I love how his hands because he doesn't have arms. He just has hands. So they just kind of put them in this like hurdling position, which I think really suits for Kinger. I put I still kept the tag. I don't know why I kept the tag, but and then you get a little piece. piece. All right, where's the other one? <laughs> oh wait, I have two more. Okay, I ordered both of these at the same time and whatnot. So let's get this one done right first. We got Ragatha. She's very pretty. Uh, the horrible complaint with the hair, it doesn't, it looks kind of, it, it's okay, I guess, and why not? But if you, like, do anything with the side of her head, like, you can see how far it comes out. <laughs> Which I guess it's fine. And then in the back, if you lift up her hair, it has, like, this, the red. That way, the whole thing isn't just this. <laughs> But she's very cute. She's got the nice little dress on with the little patches. She's got the eye and everything. I'm actually surprised that actually f it's like an actual like button material and everything. The normal eye is pretty cool too. She's a she's adorable. I love her. I can't wait to find out more about her in the uh, in the series as it continues. And then this one's Cameron's favorite. He was very upset <laughs> when he died. <laughs> but this is Gummy Goo and whatnot. I knew they would make Cameron happy because he got really upset when he saw him die. <laughs> and he, because he, he was like, oh, he's a little crocodile guy. Cameron just loves reptiles. I don't know if he knew that from the, the fucking frogs, <laughs> but he loves reptiles. We have a pet lizard named Leo, so it, it made Cameron very happy when I got him. He, they, they did it pretty well of like the transitioning between the green, like the green and then the yellow and vice versa. And also, if you do this with his hat, he looks like a little witch. <laughs> Just so someone knows out there. <laughs> okay, right there. All right. All right. Let me organize these now. I'm gonna put gummy goo here. Alright, we're all good. Alright, let's talk about an old show by Glitch, and that is Meta Runner. Now, Meta Runner was the first show Glitch ever made, and why not? It was production for a while before Glitch was even made, I think? Don't correct me on that. I'm not, I'm not smart enough right now. <laughs> but I have a few pieces of merch. Not a lot. I wish I got more during the time, but I have technically three pieces of it, which... If anyone wants to send me their fucking merch, please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm kidding. Let <laughs> me get them. They're all tarry. <laughs> now this one's like a double-edged sword because technically I bought it from the SMG4 website because they have a tarry of their own. It's not the same tarry as the one in Glitch, but this is tarry. This is what she looks like. She sports blue hair covered with one eye, which you can somewhat see. She has a cool ass jacket, cool ass pants. She's got the robot arm. Her her meta runner. Oh, I'm so sorry, I bumped the shed. <laughs> but she feels very soft and everything and whatnot. I think this was available during when Glitch was made, but I came from the SMG4 website. And she's adorable. I'll put you right there. Alright. This one I purchased. I think this was the first uh SMG4 slash glitch production plushie I ever bought, and it was this one. It is. Oh, I'm trying to remember what the fuck it's called. It's her as a robot in episode two, in like season two. I'm sorry, and whatnot. I, the body's okay. <laughs> they definitely use a different material for like every single thing, but I, I think it translated well to like how the the character looked in the show and everything. So. I, th I think it did a good job. I, I love this little thing so much. 
So. And then this one was recent. I didn't get this originally from Glitch. I had to get this second hand for a hundred dollars. <laughs> and it is Tari in the in the temple outfit and everything. She's got the long piece of hair that attaches and whatnot. It's got the little butt tag that says Meta Runner produce in production with Juniper. Because uh, that was the company that they used for a while for merch. Still got the hair. I love the way her outfit is. I still have to watch season three, but I think it's cute. I found it for a good deal and I'm like, fuck it. I don't think this is going to come back. So I'm still missing Theo and Matcha and Belle. I need those three. And then I'll have a complete Meta Runner collection of plushies. All right. Maybe we should, should we do Sunset Paradise? We'll do, we'll do Sunset Paradise now. Alright, Sunset Paradise was the second show that Glitch made and whatnot. It was actually a spin-off one for SNG4 where Maggie left for a while and she went on vacation to figure out all of her shit. And, uh, and then Glitch took that character and made a show with it, which we'll get into what I have for it. Here's your little shit. Oh, goddammit. Okay. These are all I have. Let me put the little babies right here. There we go. Let's talk- yeah, let's do the babies ones first. Okay. So, I got- Technically three of these. <laughs> uh, they're little Maggie keychain plushies of her, and they're adorable. Now, you may be asking why I have three, which when I bought these, well, I first saw them on Macari for a hundred dollars, and I was like, damn, good deal. But um, it came with, I think it was this one and then a different one, but it didn't have the hat or the goggles. It had just plain Maggie with like no cap and everything. And I originally messaged him, like, hey, is it possible for me just to get one? Because I don't, I don't want to take the other one from away from someone. And I was like, well, someone else is probably just going to buy the fucking plushies because it's a real good deal. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just buy both. So then I did and whatnot. So this is how this happened. And you're like, well, why the fuck do you have two with hats? Well, because I was on eBay <laughs> and I saw that someone posted... I think two, almost at one time I was too late and they didn't, but they had these both together. I was like, there's no way they're going to separate and be and like respond to me in time. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just get both and whatnot. So now I have three little Meggies <laughs> and I have the little Ari one. Ari is so cute and everything. He's got a little, little badge, a little hat. The keychain is still pretty good too. They, they aren't like weathering from age, so I'm very impressed. All right, and this one, she is adorable. I got this from the same seller as the little Ori in the back and whatnot. This is Whisk. This is her little outfit that she wears during the show. She got the white hair. She got the little cat ears, which, and then the mask, which I'll take that off in a second. Look at her! She's got little freckles, she's got the little oo oo face and everything. She's adorable. Maybe one day I can I can try to cosplay her because I really love the coat that she has. You guys can't see it because the mic, I'm so sorry. I love the coat that she has, the belt and everything, and I want to- I, I love when women have short hair because I have that. <laughs> so I definitely want to try cosplaying her because doing the ears would be a lot of fun and making the little mask and everything because I kind of want it to also be kind of velcro so I can take it off whenever I want but also be see-through if so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, let's do... Oh, here he is. Now, Murder Drones is also a, a show that exists by Glitch. Unfortunately, I only have one plushie from it. I did order an Uzi in spirit of the series finale dropping on August 23rd and whatnot. I, I was like, I gotta get the ball rolling if it's gonna end. these. I'm never gonna find these fucking things again. <laughs> so I bought those two, but uh, I asked my chat which one I should get, and they said I should get the, the little crow one time, so I have 
the oozy crow and everything. So she's so cute. I love the little beanie. It's definitely everything's like a different texture on here. Like this feels different, and the body feels different, and then the hat feels different too. But she's very cute and everything. Can't wait to get more mortar drum things. I have to get the end dog, V, and J. And I'm kind of hoping that a plushie of Sin releases for the season. Tell me, tell me in the future. <laughs> Someone commented. All right, I guess we might as well get into the SNG four ones now before we get into like the miscellaneous because uh, we have a lot of miscellaneous. Um, let's do this one. Let's do the little babies first. So, if you're familiar with SNG4, back in the day, there was this guy. His name was Axel. He was introduced during the anime arc and everything. He was there when D Destiny died, which R.I.P. her soul. And then later, he died <laughs> during, I think, Revelation? Oh, the Genesis arc, I think. And when not, I was very sad. I shipped him and Melanie so hard, only to see the ship die in front of me. <laughs> but here he is. This was in celebration of it. I got the plushie. There got, I haven't seen many people resell him. I think I saw one person resell him. And I was like, get, I'm glad someone out there is going to get an axle. But he's got the little... Oh my god, he's... Oh no, he's tearing. Guys, look. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to try to pull out the sewing kit. Oh, I need to fix him. But, I mean, he's old. He, he's a very old plushie. And whatnot. In that same vein, I have a little Melanie plushie. She's very cute. Oh, it's very sought after. Because they don't even use her character anymore. Pretty much. She has a little hoodie, which you can come out. And then she has a little hair in the back, which I don't know why this one's weird. Maybe it's just the way mine is and whatnot. So she has like a little short hair. I'll put this back up. I don't want it to be ruined. But she's got little little hair clips that look like watermelons. She's got little watermelon little like hoodie and everything. Black pants. I love the, the little watermelon seeds on her face. She, Everything about her is so adorable and she was my favorite. Like she's still my favorite female out of everyone in SNG4. I just wish they did more with her and everything. She's, she'll forever be my little baby. She's my little boy. <laughs> Alright, getting to the other females. We have Psycho. Let me fix her skirt. There we go. Alright, her plushie was released during, I think, the music video. Do I remember what? I think, no, it's not called Darkest Hour. It's, it's one of them. <laughs> But a lot of fakes are on eBay for this one right now. But she's so adorable. And whatnot. She got the little skull necklace. She got the coat. The, um, is it called a tube top? I don't know. The sport. Crop top. She got the crop top. The belt. The, uh, I think she wears shorts. Does she wear shorts? Or is it skirt? I don't know. And then I love the hair. I love the way that they did her redesign and everything. It was very cute. Too bad we don't fucking see her anymore, but it's fine. I'll get over it. <laughs> Alright. Here is Maggie. She is absolutely adorable. I got her from eBay and whatnot uh, by a seller that I fucking hate. <laughs> uh, mainly because they kept harassing me afterwards about stupid shit. So if that is you, you can go fuck yourself. But I got her for a good deal, and I'm actually going to try to cosplay her in the future. That's going to be my next, like, I try to cosplay blank, and here's how it goes. So I can't wait to try doing the long hair, getting this, like, the beanie and the headphones and everything. And the, the shirt actually would be pretty cool, too, because I can just send this to my sister and be like, can you fucking put that on a shirt? And she'd be like, all right, you're doing something very stupid, but okay, I'll do it. And then the shorts and everything. She's very cute. Uh, she was a good deal, but it wasn't worth the harassment. <laughs> Alright, I got these little beans. I'm missing the other snack packs and whatnot, which hopefully in the future I can get those. But this is the Western Spaghetti Pack. 
featuring Maggie, Tari, and Destiny. Finally on a piece of merch, I think. I don't know if she was on other... Sh I think she was on a shirt. I take, I take back my statement. But you can detach these. There we go. Put them down. You can... You can mix and match. You put you know, like that. Freaking Yeah. <laughs> They're so adorable. They have a little velcro on them, so you can always like stack and restack however you want. But this is the the cannon stack and whatnot. I ordered this at the same time as the leggy plushie. This shipped out first since it was in hand. I'm waiting for leggy right now, so I'm very excited when I get that. It's another thing to take up on the bed. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on. I'm left with three people that Sage hates. <laughs> here, we'll here. Let's we'll talk about this one. <laughs> Get this one out of the way. <laughs> this is SMG three. He was released during the It's Gotta Be Perfect movie, and whatnot. It was beautiful, and whatnot. There he is. He is slowly falling apart. I might want to order a new one. <laughs> Like, the overalls look like they're falling off. I don't know if that's just how it is, or maybe it's just because I had this thing for years. But, also the hair. <laughs> it's coming off a bit. But he's absolutely adorable. I pretty I pretty much sleep with this thing exclusively and whatnot. It, it's... I don't know if it's autism. I don't know. But I have a nightly routine that if I don't follow, it's going to take me ages to fall asleep and I will be relentless. All right, I have to sleep with this thing, and Cameron has to. I have to spoon Cameron, and then he spoons me, and it's enough to make my brain clock out. And if this is not part of my nightly routine, I will suffer. <laughs> so he's he's he's. My, he, I, I don't know if you know, but he's my favorite. <laughs> if you could tell by the simping tier list back in the day. All right, here's the newest ones that got released. This one came out. This is SNG4. He has other plushies of him, but uh, there was the King Chonk, which I didn't get, which I'm hoping to get sometime. And then there was Big SNG4, which I have no record of ever seeing that thing as old. <laughs> I know it exists. I just don't know where it exists. <laughs> but here he is. He got the little overalls, blue shirt. They did a, whatever problems. Here, hold on. We're bringing this little shit back. Whatever problems they had with this plushie, they really fix it with this plushie and whatnot. I mean, they're pretty much the same. I'm just realizing, hold on. Yeah, they're pretty much the same and whatnot. Yeah, it's in fucking faces too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, they're boyfriends. You can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> Alright. And then my favorite, because he's a TV guy, and Sage's hatred because he's a TV guy. This is Mr. Puzzles. And what not released during the Puzzle Vision movie. Same thing with SMG4, I didn't say that. And what not. He has a little TV head. He's sporting little overalls with like little puzzles around it and whatnot. The back is pretty cool too. I, I hate it when they take plushies and they don't do anything with the back of it. Like I know the front is the flattering part, like you're gonna sit it like this, like like wherever you put it, like on a shelf or on your bed or whatnot, but it, it's pretty cool when they actually take the time and put detail to the back of the, the back of the plushie as well. So, there he is. And then if you tilt the head, he makes different facial expressions from like happy to an angry little boy. So, it's very cute. I'm gonna throw him in the back. All right. Now I have a bunch of miscellaneous plushies. Which, um, here we'll do the miscellaneous, and then we'll get into the other category that I have that I just realized that I kind of have. All right, we got them. All right. Yeah, as you know, we love little axolotls. We like the little froggies. So I got this off a of makeshift a long time ago. It's called the Flower Axolotl Plush. Only a one thousand two hundred and seventy-three were made. And when I, it's a little axolotl with little flower embroidery. It's got a little flower. I'm keep fucking this mic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, and it's even got the makeshift little tag and everything, so yeah, it's very cute. Uh, when I was going through all my plushies, I was trying to like resell them. I had a bunch of Wizard 101 ones, which I've fallen out of love for it, so I was just like getting rid of it. And then Karen made me keep this one, because it's cute. So I think we named him Donald, 
This is his canon name. His name is Donald. So, <laughs> I didn't say we were good at making names. <laughs> On the same top of axolotls, I got this from Fred Below. He's very soft. He's from a collection called Cute and Cuddly. And he doesn't actually have a name, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. It's just that we don't have another one of the same brand as him, so we never named him. But if you have any cool suggestions, let me know. It could be silly to cute. And I'll run the by camera and he'll tell me if they're good enough to be our son. It can be boy or girl. We didn't really give it a gender. Alright, and then the last one for miscellaneous. I got this little cute little guy. His name is Rody. He's from Dead Plate, if you know that game, I played it on the channel. Um, he's the wait the waiter, and uh, <laughs> he has a bear. He he's a little terrified. He he's fine, though. There was only 6,693 of these made. And also, yes, before you ask, I did order the Vincent one. I'm just waiting for it to ship at this rate, but here he is. He's so cute. He's very tiny. Well, look at the other makeshift ones that I have on the floor, but he is very tiny. Alright, then I have Sucker for Love First Day plushies, which I have two. I have the the normal ones, and then I have the glow-in-the-dark ones that they made. So, I guess when we talk about the normal one, we'll bring up the one. So, let's talk about the least favorite one, according to the sales. Here's Esther, and when not, she is the king of gold. She sports this beautiful pink hair. She's got little bangs. She's got this little, like, you know. And if you pull it down a little bit, you can see that she has, like, a mask on, which is canon in the game. You can only see, like, one red eye. She has these cute little nails. I love this the dress. It's this nice little silk. The bow is adorable. Oh, she's adorable. She didn't sell well. She barely made it. <laughs> and then on that same vein, we have her glow-in-the-dark form. Uh, they, whatever, they did little adjustments to this, I guess, when the criticisms of the last plushies, they fixed a couple things and whatnot. So the dress is in silk, it's like this, I th almost, it's a, it's a different one. I don't know everything about this plushie. <laughs> she has the same thing on her face. This has been changed to, I, the hair is the one that goes in the dark, so it's made out of a different material and whatnot, and then the... The nails are fixed a bit. The bow is different. Yep, that's what changed. Alright. Lynette? Lynetta? I think that's how you pronounce her? Here she is. And whatnot. The tag is fucked up. I fucked up this blush. Uh, here she is. She has four legs. She got little, little wings and everything. She has a face with the little tentacles. And her hair do be kind of bussin'. I fuck with this hair and whatnot. And her outfit is very cute too. Everything's like a little different material and it really gives like it's, she's she's so cute. You can't tell me that she's not cute. <laughs> Alright and then we have the glow in the dark one which her, her body is supposed to glow in the dark so it's that nice little color as well. Nothing really changed. I don't think there's a any changes with this. The hair still feels the same, the wings still feel the same, the the um the outfit still feels the same. It's just the body is a different one, like different color because they had to make it so it can go in the dark. Alright. Now my favorite Lady Nyanya. Uh she's adorable. Uh, I think this is Markiplier's favorite because he was like simping over her mega hard, but she sports a little Egyptian eye. I think mainly her, like, her model is based off of, like, Egyptian, like, mythology and whatnot because of the eye and, like, the way her jewelry is and, like, the dress and everything. It's, it's beautiful. Anyway, she sports these lovely shoes, blue body, uh, white dress, this little, I think that, I'm trying to remember what they're called. It's very common for, like, pharaohs to wear and the little headpieces and the little cat ears and on the back. She also has a tail and it has... A little a little bell on there too. Alright, and then this one is a glow in the dark one. The entire body's white and everything. I think I think the whole body lights up, I think. You might need I think it's the head. I think only the head lights up and whatnot. But I guess since her hair is always the same color as her body, they just made it like this. <laughs> but it's very cute. Everything's pretty much the same. All the textures 
carried over and everything. Yeah, all the texture. It's the only one that they really changed was was Esther. I guess they had a lot of complaints about it. So there she is. <laughs> so I guess now I will reorganize all this, and I'll see you guys in a hot minute. And they're all organized. You can come and see them. Um, you can't see the ones I put in the fucking bag to, to save your life. But let me move the mic out of the way a little bit. This is this is the wrong direction. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty much how I set the bed most of the time. I have like the ones from the show on the back. I have the squish molds kind of lining up the sides, and I have the little, the tiny ones in the front and whatnot. So that's pretty much how this goes. <laughs> Which I hope you guys enjoyed this and whatnot. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> But I, I, I'm gonna get more. I'm probably gonna get a lot more squishmallows. I'm probably gonna get a lot more from the show because I'm still hunting out for things. You know what's bad when I have a spreadsheet? That's how you know I've fallen off when I have a spreadsheet for things. So I don't know if I'll do another video like this. I'm not too sure. But if you guys want to see it, let me know. Also, I'm sorry, my voice is kind of low. I am. I stayed up till like 2 a.m. and got eight hours of sleep. So. And I'm not, in, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mentally here. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and whatnot. So, how the fuck do I do an outro? <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye.